Tonight in the murder case involving suspect Russell Tillis. 16 months ago, police found the dismembered body of 31 year old Joni Gunter buried in the backyard of Tillis' Southside home. Well, tonight, JSO is back at that property digging again today, months after saying that there could be more victims. It was a confession to another inmate that police say led them to start digging last year. Shelby Danielson is live at the scene with what we're learning tonight. Shelby. The home that was on this property that once belonged to Russell Tillis was demolished after this property was condemned. All that remained was a concrete slab until now. This morning, you can look out where that crane is. The city came out and broke up that concrete slab. JSO's forensic team also came out here. Meanwhile, as they were doing that downtown, other developments were unfolding in this case. An aggressive Russell Tillis made his case in court Monday morning, once again complaining that his attorney was incompetent. It sounds like he's doing exactly what he should do. Oh, my, I'm Tillis waived his right to counsel, requesting that he now represent himself in the murder case, something that the judge reminded him he'd tried before and didn't see good results. Um, so you wish to represent yourself in this case? Crime analyst Mark Bachman says that tactic rarely yields success. You know, there's a saying, someone who's representing themselves for themselves on a criminal defense case has a fool for an attorney. As Tillis protested in court, JSO served a search warrant at the property he used to own. Their forensic team on standby as the city broke up the concrete. There were some things he said which led them to believe possibly there was an individual buried here and then possibly more. Which begs the question, why return to dig now? Once you go off the property, you know, legally you have to get a, a document to allow you back onto that property. You can't keep going back and forth. But once law enforcement leaves it, they vacate it, they do the return on the search warrant as to what they found, and if they get more information or they have more probable cause, they have to draft another affidavit, get the warrant signed by the judge, and then come back out and re-enter the property. JSO isn't elaborating. Investigators on scene said they'll be here around the clock for at least a few days. Based on what they're deriving, I think that law enforcement firmly believes there's probably multiple victims, but maybe they just haven't found them yet. And you can see police still guarding the property here. You can see their police lights on the equipment behind me where that concrete slab was broken up. Now I'm told that that big equipment was used just to break up the concrete by the city. And in the coming days, JSO is expected to bring in other kinds of equipment, smaller instruments, shovels, even long rods to try to dig into the earth to see if anything was buried below. They may also bring in sonar imaging. They don't have it right now, but they did have it the last time they were digging here. And you may recall some of these instruments were actually used in a very similar case, the case of Ronnie Hyde, a similar case because he's also charged with the murder of a victim who was found dismembered. Live on the south side, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News. Shelby, thank you.